Parker. What do you do if you're the Detroit Lions? Well, in Burkett's mock draft, Jalen Carter is on the board, but they pass on him. And who do they pass on him for? The offensive tackle, offensive lineman from Northwestern, Peter Skoronsky. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't hate it. I would hate it to pass up Jalen Carter, but under this scenario, if these five players are gone, gotcha. I do not hate taking the offensive lineman there. He's got Carter going next pick. Yep. To the Raiders. Yes. Now, now again, I would take Carter. But under this Daniel Jeremiah scenario, I don't hate the pick of Skaronsky because Jalen Carter's not available. Because Jalen Carter's not available. Uh yeah, uh, Skaronsky. Here's here's the thing about, it, and I wrote this down before we started the show. It kind of goes back to what we've been saying a little bit, especially now yesterday, since we know the moves that they made on the defense in our free agency. They put themselves in a position where there's no necessary immediate need. 100%. What's the best need? D-tackle. You heard what Michael Harris said. Same thing I've been saying. Defensive tackle. That could be the last domino in terms of a major draft pick, a number six overall. If one of those guys were there, you could draft this guy. Defensive tackle adds so well to what they already have in Bugs and Aiden and Pascal and, uh, and Houston. It adds so well to what they have. But at the same time, you look at what they're doing. Offensive line is well put together, but at some point, you're going to have to pay Taylor Decker. And nobody wants to pay Taylor Decker again. I don't think he's going to be worth it again second time around. So it's going to be an open spot for alignment. That left guard side is open as well to a certain extent. Skronsky plays both. Now, he plays both left tackle for more for, for left tackle better, but he plays both. I think that position opens up at some point. You look at uh, the quarterback. Eh, I mean, you know, if no quarterback's there, you're not drafting the quarterback. If the quarterback's there, you like what – Jared Goff is right now. I'm just saying they are in a situation. Now they go get Sutton. Now they go get Mosey. Now they go get uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Now they go get – it's like, eh, secondary is even getting well on that side. No need to draft Christian Gonzalez necessarily or Witherspoon. It's so many picks that you can make now What the Lions have. Now the situation the Lions are in. I think it's a position where now you trust in what Brad Holmes can do and you trust in saying that, you know what, Mel Kuyper, the other guys, they've given him A-plus over the last two years. Now is when you trust him to be Mel because the Lions have put themselves in a good situation. They're not need, need, need anything right now.